I was just thinking, I'm going to make my bed a little, um, about mental powers, what exactly that means. And I think that, oh, I want to show you this too. This is tobacco. I bought, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to start cooking with tobacco. So I was like, oh, they're selling a pound of tobacco for 30 bucks. I didn't realize what that meant. This is, pound of, <laughs> this is the first time I've taken it out of the package, totally. This is a pound of tobacco leaves. Spectacular, man. Uh-oh, I think they might be getting moldy. I might have to freeze this shit. No. I didn't want to. Um, smells great, though. I'm going to smell like tobacco. So I was going to cook with it, and I still will. But it's just so pungent. Like, I don't really smoke tobacco very much. And I, I started messing with it just to, you know, I smoked a little of it, and it's so acidic. <laughs> like, I smoke pot. And I can get away with smoking, like, multiple joints per day uh, of pot, you know, but as soon as I start to introduce a little tobacco, it, gets, it starts to burn like crazy, like my lips, and I can only handle, like, a little bit of it. Um, and I was thinking about mental powers. I was just thinking about how, back in the day, there might be videos of it, too. I had one of those uh, plasma balls. Like you plug them in and it and it's just like those electricity is sparking out and if you touch it it like goes zzz z, z on your finger wherever you're touching the ball, and I really believed you know deep in my state of psychosis I guess you could call it aren't the greatest minds always psycho until they prove that what they were doing was actually right and then everyone just talks about them like 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 Newton right, um uh, no but I, I was thinking I could like affect the plasma ball from across the room with my energy and I would practice it. I'd like get really stoned and like, you know, really feel the energy and then I'd like stand across the room and like attempt to, to create a spark uh, in the ball, like a change in the ball. And But anyway, that was making me think, I do believe we are developing mental powers. I feel like our brains are getting bigger, like they're writing information, it's kind of growing out of the middle, which is why the brain like creases down the center and it's constantly writing and creating new new brain matter and our craniums are getting bigger as we age and through evolution or whatever. Uh, we're smarter, bigger, faster, stronger, better nutrition. So in that sense, I think we're becoming more adept at mental powers or that we, we can. But in another sense, I think that we're developing the technology to measure the mental powers that we've always had. So, so yeah, it's like you got to try to, to be, to get it, you know? Oh, I know I can do it. I know it because I tried so hard and I was like disappointed when it wasn't happening. But it's like, yeah, you got to try to, to be your best self and to do things that you never thought you could and that no one else has ever done before, but that somewhere in back of your mind you know is possible, go for it because it is possible. But at the same time, you have to be patient because we as a human race need to develop technology to measure what we've already been able to do. So don't get frustrated if it seems like you're not having an impact because you are. We just need to be able to take your impact into account. We need to realize what the impact was. That's like our thoughts and our, our voices and our words are having such a strange and impactful resonance on reality. But we don't quite have the technology to measure the power of your thoughts. Like if you could walk into someone's room and see like a green glow all around them, be like, whoa, this dude's thinking about great stuff right now. Oh, he just figured something out. You see that red spark? That would be cool. And then I think that thinkers maybe would be a little more accepted in society. Not that they're not now, but if a thinker doesn't uh, combine his thought, his or her thoughts with um, active creation, it's not. It's kind of thought of as a waste. I know a lot of fucking brilliant people that think and can compute and come to conclusions that were totally foreign to me or others, but they don't put down the ideas in a substantive way 
so that the medical or the scientific community will be like, yes, no, yes, no. They, they just people just look at it like, oh, it's just a thought. It doesn't mean anything. I can't prove it, so it doesn't mean anything. But man, if we could, if we could measure the power of thoughts, and you know, I know it's coming. Like we already have e- ECGs, electro or no EKGs, right? Electrokinio grams. I don't know what they're called, but anyway, you know, you slap measurements on the head. You can measure magnetic field changes and shifts. I'm really excited about about the the potential of the mind. You know, we're we're so connected. We're like a a hive mind of isolated activity. Until then, you know, thinkers, doers, just keep writing it down and making videos. That's another reason why I transitioned to making video instead of writing because it was easier for me to transcribe my thoughts through voice and visual acuity than through text. So the next step, you know, when you can actually record your thoughts, like if I could just upload a video of my dream last night, that would be fucking sweet. Or if I could like think through a problem and then upload it and you could watch my thought process. It's got to be here. It's coming, Google. So how would you do that? You would measure electromagnetic impulses, right? Right. Um, I'm not going to slap around about it too much because it could go on and on for 20 minutes of me thinking about things that aren't right, you know. In order to get to a, a correct, uh, positive conclusion, you got to trudge through the negative, wrong answers I've found. Uh, And if people watch you go through the wrong answers to get to the right answer, they can get really bored and angry as you get things wrong after wrong after wrong after wrong. People really just want to see the finished product. And then maybe watch the documentary later about how you got it wrong for 17 years leading up to that point or seven years or whatever the fuck you did. Hey, see you later. Los Angeles rocks. And this is my, I'm burning incense right now. Uh, Nag Champa. God damn, it smells so good, man. All right, I'm going to go write some blogs. Oh, did you see Princeton ban the use of the word man? Now, their uh, HR department is just, they're replacing, like, um, man-made to synthetic. And all these instances of the word man, they're, they're taking out HR, not the student. The students can still say man, but they're taking it out of, like, uh, I think they're still using the word human, but... Like, mankind is being changed to humankind. That word man is so weird. Like, man, and then there's wo, man. There's male, and then there's fi, male. So you, it's very obviously created by men. Like, the men were the center, and then the women came after. But, like, come on, dude. You came from a woman. We all were born of woman that I know. Test tubes, thus and that. However, let's give some credence where credence is due. The female. Uh, maybe there's a better word for that that doesn't have to use the word male. Lady. That's a, that's kind of a ridiculous word, isn't it? Hey, see you later.